And moving on, Somalia's largest telecoms operator, Hormud Telecom, has announced expansion plans. Now, the telco is aiming to expand 4G networks accessed in the country uh, by 2023. Millions of rural Som Somalis still rely on Hormud's 2G network, and Hormud began expanding its 4G network capacity in 2015 in partnership with the Somali Ministry of Telecoms. Now, the Somali, Somali Ministry of Telcoms estimates that 70% of Somalia's 15 million population now have access to 4G internet. Well, Hormuz's aim for total 4G expansion is in line with current government commitments. The government's national ICT policy pledges to reach total 4G coverage between 2024 and 2025. Well, let's now delve further into Hormuz's plans in the country. We're joined by Abdallah Muhammad. He is Hormuz's Director of International uh, Relations. Great to have you with us uh, today, Mr. Muhammad. Now, of course, uh, 4G access is currently only limited uh, to major cities in Somalia. Uh, according to Hormuz, 30% of your 3.6 million customers still rely on uh, the 2G network. So... Uh, how exactly then does a company plan to ensure access to 4G uh, to every citizen in the country in just two years? Thank you. That's a great question to ask. Uh, at, the, at the time, uh, and, and according to the plan, uh, not from the international organizations like, like the world, U um, like the United Nations uh, um, the digital um, programs and, and goals, but also in, our, in line with our goals, we are investing heavily on infrastructure like masks and towers to make sure that this technology, 4G technology, reaches far into the into hinterland and into the rural areas in line with our goals. Mm. Well, like Hormuz said, uh, the majority of uh, these target uh, subscribers are in rural areas. So give us a sense, what are the greatest challenges uh, to achieving that two-year goal? I think the some of the challenges are mainly are logistical. As you are aware, in Africa, Somalia, possibly being part of that issues, have an issue with and heavy infrastructure like road networks. And uh, the main challenge, the rural areas, this, the distance between the rural areas is very vast and big. So what we are what we are trying to do is to narrow that gap and through. Uh, the development of heavy infrastructure like like masks and towers, and make sure the digital and, and uh, technology reach to the rural areas, and in 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 place of, of of the normal transport, so that people will be able to do business online instead of resorting or coming to the cities, and uh, and increasing the urban rural urban migration. Mm. Well, currently. The cheapest data prices in Africa are in Somalia. Uh, the country is also top 10 or one of the top 10 nations with the cheapest uh, data rates globally, which is quite uh, amazing. Now, do you expect to see those prices remain that competitive uh, as you race towards achieving data connectivity throughout the whole country? I think uh, what we have done so well and very well, according to the last um, index on, on, from, uh, from, from the data you just shared is that the Horn of Africa, particularly in Somalia, the internet service is doing very well in terms of pricing and in terms of penetration. Um, we have uh, one, we have less than 20 cents for, 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 for 1GB bundle and in comparison to our neighboring countries, respectively Kenya and, and, and Ethiopia, which goes like $1.05 and $2.55. And so we are way cheaper in, into the market, and we are the seventh largest, uh, cheapest I think in the world. And but it's not what what it means. What this means, this will not mean nothing unless it reaches to the villages and the poor and the, and those who are who are in, not included. So the, the best we can do is to is to make sure this technology is inclusive, vast, and take people forward to remove poverty and. And, and bring the gap between the uh, the the the, 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 the those who are who have digital uh, services and those who don't have. 
Mm. Well, speaking of competition uh, in the sector, Hormuz does have uh, quite a lot of competition right now. You have Golis Telecom, Telesom, Somnet, Somtel, Somlink, just to name a few. Uh, paint us a picture as to how uh, that is impacting the telecom space in the country, prices and access uh, going forward, and certainly creating a competitive market uh, for consumers. I think that's a unhealthy thing. Uh, competition is a unhealthy thing. It's, un it's unhealthy, and, and competition is always it always brings better services to the consumers because we know those countries whose telecoms are on a monopoly have never reached that far. In, if you compare it to the other African countries, and that's why that's why exactly the, that's the reason why we have the cheapest telecom services in Africa because of the high competition and because of the leap forward starting from the top in terms of technology people don't have to start from the bottom but. all right well we do have to leave it there mr mahmoud thank you so much for joining us uh, on the show today that of course was abdallah mohammed he is hormud's director for international relations